So that was the piano riff for Millie Rock. And we'll get started. So the main melodic section, the arpeggio that you hear throughout the song, it's going to be four notes completely uh, in the right hand carrying the entire piece. So the first note is G sharp. Next is A. Then we're down to G sharp and then to F sharp and that's the sequence so one two three four one two three four and that's the group of notes that you hear throughout the song now to make this complete we're going to have the bass chords C sharp and C sharp which is an octave then the corresponding note below that goes up a half step to D. And the bass line pattern is simply. So the first uh, two C sharps that you play. You hold that essentially for two beats and then this gets a count of two as well. Or uh, I should say D gets a count of two and C sharp gets two beats for the combined measure. So we have one, two, three, four one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And the D is just basically held into the next measure. And again, the chords are pretty straightforward. So each time you play a grouping of G, of G sharp, A, G sharp, and F sharp, we change or we play the bass line again. So as we play very slowly. One more time. G sharp A, G sharp F, G sharp A, G sharp F, G sharp A. G sharp F. Now the tempo of the song makes it sound obviously correct. So you want to play it at that tempo until you get comfortable with playing it at regular speed. Unfortunately it's one of those riffs where speed and precision make it sound uh, crisp. So from the top going at regular speed You can end it on C sharp to G sharp, or just E, then make it a C sharp minor. Now one more time, and I tried to slow it down a little bit, uh, but explaining it and playing at the same time is not always productive. It's better to just tackle this as best you can. The notes are listed in this video, and that is Millie Rock.